This section of the video is going to let you analyse melting point data and use it to predict whether something is pure or impure. And it's also going to help you to draw and interpret graphs based on the melting points given. If we were to draw a melting point graph for a pure and an impure substance, they would look quite different. First of all, if we draw a pure one, you will see that the melting point line is flat. There is no range that the, the solid melts over. Whereas if we were to draw an impure one, you'll see that there is a large range, so it's more diagonal. Okay, so if you were asked to sketch these, that is what you would have to do. So if you're given different melting points in a table, the ones that have just one melting point in, they are your pure ones. So minus 78, 173, just one melting point, that is pure. If the melting point's over a range, like substance X here, it means it's impure. You've got a mixture of different substances there. Okay, let's have a look at a couple of questions then. So, if you had a question like this in the exam, which goes, Substance X has a melting point of 37 degrees, and Substance Y has a melting point of 33 to 47 degrees. A. Identify which substance is pure and impure. And B. Draw a sketch of a melting point graph for Substance X and Y. Have a go at doing them by pausing this video. Okay, question 1A then. It says, identify which substance is pure and impure. Nice and simply, it's just saying X is pure. You know that because it's got a single melting point. It's not over a range. Whereas Y is over a range, therefore we say it's impure. You need both of those to get the one mark. When we move into the sketch of the melting point graph, the first thing you need to do is draw your axes. So on the x-axis we have the temperature and on the y-axis we have the time in seconds. The next thing you need to do is draw your curve. Now for the pure one which is x it must be flat so there is no range where the solid has melted over. So you will get one mark for the flat part of the curve and then one to two marks the rest of it being correct and in some of them they might give you a mark for the axes being labeled correctly so make sure you do that if we have a look at substance y very similar so start off by drawing your axes label it with temperature and with time and then draw your curve Bearing in mind the range will be higher here that it melts over. So you need to have some sort of diagonal line. That range gives you your one mark. You'll then get marks for the rest of it being correct and for the axes. Hopefully that's helped you with purity and melting point. Have a look at this question in the review section and see if you can answer it. If you can, you've learned everything you need to know.